Hi there you guys, this is Jaden Pictures, and I just got done watching the trailer that came out today for Sonic Prime, and I thought that would be a good idea to make a video letting you guys know how I feel about this trailer since that, you know, I did the same thing last year after I saw the trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie, and, you know, after I saw the trailer, I made that quick video, I made the video uh, of me recording myself, letting you guys know how I feel about the trailer, about my excitement for that movie, and, you know, me look, really looking forward to seeing it, and plus, I've been a big fan of Sonic for a while now since March of 2021, like I've said before on the channel, so I figured, you know, why don't I make this video? Why not? Why not? Because, you know, Sonic's awesome. So, yeah, um, here are my thoughts on the Sonic Prime trailer, but, but before I reveal what my thoughts are in this trailer, here's a spoiler alert, because I am going to spoil some stuff for the trailer, so you get, if you guys don't want to get spoiled for anything that, about the trailer, then I think it's best that you just click off the video right now, and, you know, wait until you have finished watching the trailer before you watch, before you get back onto this video, and, uh, yeah, um, also, guys, uh, if you guys want to see the original trailer to this, uh, if you guys want to see the official trailer, a link will be down in the description below, and yeah, with all that out of the way, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so, yeah, it seems like 2020, it seems like this year of 2022 has been a really good year for Sonic so far, like, a really good year. Like, first we got the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 live action movie, yeah, and then we got a Sonic, now we have Sonic Frontiers, then we have Sonic Frontiers, which is a new Sonic game for the Switch. Yeah, now we have this Sonic Prime, this new Sonic Prime show. Oh my gosh, this year is apparently a really big year for Sonic too. Yeah, we got, we just got the Sonic Prime trailer for this new Sonic show, which will be coming out in a little less than a month. It'll be coming out on the fifteenth of next month in December. And yeah, not to mention um, this month is also the third year anniversary for Sonic the Hedgehog two. Not the movie, but the video game. You know, the second ever Sonic the Hedgehog video game. Yeah, and that was also where Tails debuted. So yeah, that's that means this month is also the thirtieth birthday of Miles Tails Prowers. Yeah. Happy birthday, Tails the Fox, even though you're a fictional character. You're still a great Sonic character, and I can't I seriously can't see how any Sonic fan would not like you. You're an awesome Sonic character. And yeah, you be you've been such a great friend and sidekick to Sonic. Happy birthday, little fox. So yeah, it's cool that how we have all this stuff going on for Sonic this year. Yeah, but now we got Sonic Prime and I just saw the trailer. And what did I think of it? Well, yeah, like, I saw the trailer, and I gotta say, I, I really liked the trailer. I really enjoyed the trailer. Like, I like how, like, Sonic Boom, how, like, in, like, they did for Sonic Boom, the animation style for Sonic Prime, you know, it's like the, it's an animation style that, you know, that looks like it's from one of the Sonic games, you know what I mean? It looks like it's, like, it looks like the show, the show looks, looks a lot more like the Sonic games rather than, you know, a completely different show for Sonic. I'm like... Unlike most of the other Sonic shows we have so far. Yeah, I really like the animation style to Sonic Prime. It looks really nice. It looks great. It, you know, it looks really nice. It looks really great. And I really like how much it looks like the uh, video games, even though this is going to be a TV show and not a video game. And yeah, I also thought this trailer had really good voice acting to it, too. Although I feel like they had some... Uh, I feel like there were some voice actor replacements that were on there, like, partly because I noticed that Dr. Eggman in the trailer didn't really sound like himself, you know, didn't really sound like, sound like normal Dr. A the, the normal Dr. Eggman we've heard throughout the, uh, entire Sonic series, like, you know, from the, uh, older Sonic games, and, you know, Sonic X, the English dub of Sonic X, and, you know, Sonic Boom, and all that stuff, so, yeah, what happened is his original voice actor retired or something, weird, but not saying his voice is bad here, though, his voice is still really good here, but, yeah, I... But yeah, I still prefer the other Dr. Eggman voice. Yeah, and, uh, but yeah, the voice acting here, though, is still really good. And yeah, what do they show in this trailer? Well, basically, in this trailer, it shows Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, and Rouge all getting into this big fight with Dr. Eggman and his robots. And, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the Sonic team is whooping the, uh, the butts of Eggman's bots and all that stuff, and, uh, during the fight, there's there's this little explosion. There's this little explosion, and then you know there's a pitch black screen, and then they show Sonic falling into this uh, different world where you know the sky is you know a completely different type of color. It's all redded up and all that stuff. Yeah, and he gets sent to this world where things are really different. Like for example, uh, his friends are different. Like their designs are different. They're wearing clothes that you usually never see them wear in this franchise in the Sonic series. Yeah, so basically Sonic's friends in this different world, they're like all characters wearing different clothes. And yeah, not to mention they don't even recognize Sonic either. They don't recognize him either, so uh, yeah. Yeah, but from the trailer, they do make it obvious that Sonic, you know, later... Uh that Sonic, you know, later gets to know these different versions of his friends and all that stuff, and he teams up with them, and, you know, um, you know, he gets, like, new powers and all that stuff, and his, and his shoes become all different, and, uh... Yeah, yeah, from the looks of this trailer, it looks like this, uh, Sonic, this new Sonic series, it looks pretty promising, I'm, 
I, I, I am looking forward to checking it out. I do, I do want to check it out because you know I am a really big Sonic fan. Yeah, I am looking forward to this new trailer. It's like from the looks of it and all that stuff. Yeah, it does look really cool. I do like the idea of Sonic getting sent to this uh, parallel wo world and all that stuff, where the sky is a different color and is is not only his friends are different, but you know Eggman, you know Eggman's different too. Like he's wearing different clothes and you know he has like you know he's teaming up with all these villains and whatnot, which I thought was pretty funny. And yeah, another thing that really intrigued me about this trailer was what they did for Shadow. Like, because, you know, I was wondering if Shadow was going to be in the series. And, yeah, just so you guys know, I love... Yeah, I love Shadow. Like, probably most Sonic fans. I love Shadow. He is... I think he's probably my favorite Sonic character. With Sonic himself taking second place, Tails taking third place, Knuckles taking fourth place, and, you know, Dr. Eggman taking fifth place. Those are probably my top five favorite Sonic characters ranked. And, yeah, was Shadow in this trailer? Yeah, he was, but he didn't really make that big of an appearance on this trailer. Um, basically what happens in this trailer is... Okay, so basically there's a part in the trailer where Sonic's running running really fast. Yeah, and then yeah, and then Shadow out of nowhere is like, Sonic! And then, you know, out of nowhere, a uh, holographic thing of Shadow appears right next to Sonic. And then Sonic's like, Shadow? And yeah, when that part came up, my eyes popped a bit. And, you know, my mouth flew open a bit. I was like, oh my gosh, Shadow's in this series? But yeah, apart from that, they didn't really give us any more information about, you know, Shadow in this series. So yeah, apparently they're just gonna wait until the series comes out to reveal how big of an appearance Shadow will make in the series. And oh my gosh, that's probably the main thing I'm looking forward to seeing the most in this new show. Uh, like, you know, seeing Shadow in the show, seeing what they'll do with him and all that stuff, seeing how much screen time he'll get in the show, like seeing if he'll, like, if he'll, you know, be well, like one of the main characters like he was in Sonic X or, you know, like a really minor character that only appears for a small amount of episodes like what happened with him in Sonic Boom. But yeah, I, I um... But yeah, that that's like the most interesting thing to me about the trailer, about like Shadow's little appearance there. It's a very small appearance, but it really intrigued me. It left me questioning, how big of an appearance will Shadow make in the series? Like, now now I already know he's going to be in the series, like he was in Sonic X and Sonic Boom, but I, it makes me wonder how big of an appearance will he be, will he be how, make, how big of an appearance will he make in the series? Like, will he be an ongoing character? Will he be one of the main characters? Will he be a minor character? Will he get a good chunk of screen time? And what will he do in the series? Will he team up with Sonic? Will he uh, start a big rivalry with Sonic? Will he, like, you know, do some kind of team up with Sonic and his team against Eggman and the villains? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to wait until the series comes out to find out. Yeah, and please, guys, please. For those who are watching this video after the question is answered, and you guys know the answer to this question, please, please do not spoil this for me in the comment section down below, just for future preference, please. I really don't want to get spoiled for that, please. I already got spoiled for Shadow's appearance in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 from the Return of the Fossa, and yeah, no offense to Return of the Fossa, I know he didn't mean to spoil it for me, but yeah, so, yeah that's still he still spoiled it for me. And yeah, which is why me reacting to Shadow's appearance in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 wasn't really done justice because of that. Yeah, no offense to the Return of the Fossa, but you know, just you know, just just letting you know, Fossa. I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything. We're still, you know, we're still great YouTube friends. Just letting you know, okay. So yeah, if you do see anything with Shadow in the show before I do, please, please, just for just a reminder, pal. Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. I don't want to get spoiled for what they'll do with Shadow in the show. I want to watch the show for myself to find out what they'll do with him. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what they'll do with Shadow in the show. And that's the main thing I'm looking forward to seeing in the show. But, of course, I'm also looking forward to seeing, like, you know, the stuff they'll do with the other Sonic characters. Like, with Sonic his team and Dr. Eggman and his henchmen and all that stuff. This looks like a really promising Sonic show. And I'm pretty excited to see it. It comes out on uh, December 5th. You know, and today, the date today is November, November 17th. So, I... November 17th, so I shouldn't have to wait that long. In a little less than a month, the series will come out. And, uh, yeah, I do plan on watching it. I don't know how I'll watch it. Maybe maybe someone will upload the full episodes on the YouTube. Or maybe uh, maybe I could watch it off of Hulu or maybe off of Sling or maybe somewhere else. Maybe somewhere online. I don't know. I don't know, but I do really want to see the show, though. I do. I am looking forward to seeing the show like how I was, I was looking forward to seeing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I do, I do want to see it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I do want to see it, and maybe after I watch the first episode, I'll make a video letting you guys know how I feel about this series. But, yeah, as of right now, if you want to see the trailer, it looks like a really good Sonic series. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're doing in the series. And, yeah, so far, it's a really, yeah, before I saw the trailer, it was a really good trailer. How would I rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Maybe, maybe like an 8 or 9 out of 10. Yeah, it was a really good trailer. I, it was a really good trailer. It did deliver some really interesting things that we'll get to see. 
in the show. And yeah, I think it's something to look forward to. And yeah, that's about it for my thoughts on the trailer, guys. What were your guys? What are your guys' thoughts on the new uh, on this new Sonic Prime trailer? Are you guys looking forward to seeing Sonic Prime? Are, are you guys? Do you guys think this is gonna be a cash grab? What, what do you guys think about Sonic Prime? What do you guys think about Sonic Prime in this trailer? You guys can tell me in the comment section down below if you want. And that's all for this video, you guys. Good night. Bye, everyone, and thank you all for watching this video.